the 13th of October and so far the weather forecast doesn't look too good. This upcoming weekend, um, it may be better, they say, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get all this grass off. Um, the grass has come back really, really strong since we had those heavy rains um, early part of September, middle of September when we had those rains, the grass has really come up. It's gone through a lot of stress so with the drought. This is a new seeding orchard grass blend that I'm standing in here. Um, but there's a lot of grass on and the value of the grass because of the shortage of the feed, everybody wants to try and get it off. So when you do come in and want to cut it off, maybe this upcoming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the weather forecast looks okay, then just make sure you cut it high enough. Five to six inches is what you want to set the mower up. So tilt it up and the main reason why is that we don't want to cut too short to the crowns of the plant because what happens is that's where the sugars are stored to regrow again for next year. So if you cut it short, inch and a half, two inches, the grass won't come back very well or very strong. And the first cold spell we get in November, December, or January, whenever that cold snap starts coming through, we're going to end up killing the grass out. So make sure you turn your mowers up as high as they'll go, four and a half, five inches, which some other farmers did. I'll show you some pictures of those. They got theirs off last week. And make sure you shake the grass out. Like as soon as you cut a grass wheel, it's really heavy on here. Tether it out twice a day, maybe even three times a day for two days in a row and then pick it up because if you don't, if you just cut it in the windrow and leave it, it simply will not dry and when you put it up as silage, it gets very butyric and I've actually seen guys a couple of years ago actually um, go in there with a payloader and take it and just dump it on the compost heap because there was so much hassle and trouble trying to feed it. So again, make sure you set your mower up high enough, shake the grass out, tether it out two or three times after you cut it and then try and get it as dry as you possibly can before you fill it, that's going to make a big difference.